二点整。Hey, this is Steve, E6WZ. Don't you just love that top of the hour uh, CNR1 ID? That was recorded here on uh, October uh, 16th. Uh, hey, look, I want to talk today about how I use the program called uh, Jaguar uh, to, uh, in this case, talk about reviewing WAV files, uh, you know, using Jaguar as a WAV file editor to quickly review uh, recorded files uh, in particular. Uh, I mean, Jaguar can be used to, uh, for live uh, listening, but in this case, I want to show how I use uh, the program for navigating and instantly uh, moving across time uh, in minutes and days, and also across... Uh, 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 frequency uh, to looking for uh, parallels uh, using the uh, loop function and the parallel function uh, built into the program. Let's get started. I did make an earlier video uh, talking about how to set up MessStore to do recordings, so I'm going to assume that you've uh, uh, made, uh, made your recordings as, as desired. Um, one other thing I did talk about was how to set up the scan function. That's this little S button here. This has been changed. There's a new functionality for this. I'm using the old system, but uh, either way, uh, you do want to make sure that you've uh, invoked what's called a live scan so that during your recordings you've uh, preserved these uh, uh, spectra files, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but also so be careful and be aware that you must select, uh, you know, your preferred medium wave split, either medium wave 9 or medium wave 10. In my case, of course, I'm, I want to make sure I'm scanning uh, medium wave 9. Uh, so these, uh, once you've done this, um, there will be, just so you know, uh, you will have defined uh, what location uh, all of these will be uh, um, stored. In my case, I call it Perseus Recordings. And for each day of your recording, there will be a folder. And for example, in that day, there will be all of the WAV files, which are the actual recordings, but also a folder called Scans. And this is the folder which uh, uh, contains the, uh, the Spectra files. Uh, it's completely transparent. I'm just pointing this out just so you know that that's uh, where they exist. This is an image of the Jaguar YAS log, stands for yet another spectrum log. I don't understand why, but anyway, that's the name of it. And um, I've talked about this before as well, but it's it's reached by this button up at the top. You'll see YAS log, and and you click that, and that will. Uh, these are always being generated, whether you're recording or not, and uh, it's basically an indication of what channels are likely uh, yielding uh, audio. You'll notice on the left here this uh, this this red line. This is called the JEX, uh, which is kind of like a uh, uh, propagation uh, indicator and you know the greater the number the more likely there are uh, stations with with audio uh, so this is uh, October 14th you notice if I click uh, click here I toggle now to the 15th you notice the JIX is pretty pretty decent and uh, then the uh, the 16th it's uh, you know kind of an interesting bump right here right at, uh, at the top of the hour I'll often use this to uh, give me an idea whether you know it's a quick a quick look to see if this is worth uh, these this is uh, worth having a more detailed look at. We can click any one of these frequencies, for example, here, and I can start to listen to the, uh, to the audio here. Well, one other thing we can do now is press the E button. I just press the E on the keyboard, uh, and that'll automatically uh, invoke the spectra log. You could also click it up here. And so this is the actual uh, rendition or representation of the audio on, down at the bottom here, uh, 1305. Uh, these three days uh, is what I'm going to show you, how I move around these three days as, as an example. I'll just show you here what I've been doing here lately is been using these three days and going through and trying to find some IDs and uh, you know in the course of only two days I've already uh, ID'd um, uh, 84 uh, Asian uh, stations beginning from 531 and so far I'm not done yet I'm only up to uh, 1179 but I'm going to show you how quick it is to uh, look for IDs identify IDs using parallels as I said but also uh, uh, reviewing various tops of the hour uh, across Across the three days as well as uh, different hours, either 1300 most of the time or uh, 1400 uh, UTC. You'll notice here I've also uh, included recordings of the, you know, a preferred ID, for example, or a parallel audio. I'm going to show you how I can quickly uh, clip that audio out real quick and, and upload it to my Google Drive. First of all, just describe the uh, basics of the banner here. Uh, in particular, at the bottom, you'll notice uh, this is the day. 
the days clearly marked. Uh, in brackets is the current uh, frequency, and uh, to the right of that, of course, is the uh, current uh, time. I'll talk about navigating the day in a moment, but of course, frequency here, uh, we can navigate that either uh, on the keyboard with a direct uh, keyboard input or with the mouse. Assuming there's brackets on it, you'll see down here, I can toggle the brackets on or not. If that's toggled red with my mouse, I can toggle uh, in frequency. I'm just rolling the mouse wheel. I'm just rolling the uh, mouse wheel as I go here and um, able to navigate frequency. As I say, I can also uh, directly key that in. The time banner is shown here. You can see we're top of the hour. There's always a tick here at the top of the hour as well. But I can navigate time just with mouse clicking. Uh, along the banner, okay, the, the blue banner is showing where we currently are. I can also, if you notice up on the actual specter display, I can just move my mouse up here and toggle through time. In fact, you know, it, a flag will show exactly the time. So, for example, I could go up here, say, to, you know, get the top of the hour uh, at uh, 1300 for the uh, top of the hour. So, um, let me uh, just show how we then can toggle through uh, the different days. I'm going to go back here to 1400. I don't know if I've got the audio balanced very well. Hopefully you can hear me. So to toggle the day, um, you uh, can't uh, can't see, of course, I'm doing a screen uh, capture here, but uh, this is all, I find that the best is just to use the, the keyboard. It's keyboard driven. So, uh, you know, currently uh, we're listening to um, J-O-A-K uh, here on October 14th at top of the hour 1400. And um, so if I want to check the day, the next day, you'll notice here we're on the, the, the uh, 14th. I press the, the D literally on the keyboard uh, and I'm instantly on the 15th. So I can go back to the uh, top of the hour at, right at 1400 and listen to it here on the 15th. I press D again and I'm instantly uh, on the 16th. So I can listen to uh, what it's like on the 16th. If I want to go back, I press Alt D and I'm back on the 15th. I can press Alt D and I go back uh, to the 14th. So um, really, really fast to uh, go back and forth. And of course, I could then check the top of the hour on uh, uh, 1300 UT. I could just go up here and find 1300. You know, I could see what it's like on uh, on October 14th. I can press D instantly. I can see what it's like on the. Uh, you know, uh, on the 15th at 1300 and press D again and then now I'm on the 16th. And again, I could just press the banner here and go back and forth uh, in time to, uh, to hear what it's like. We'll go back to the four, uh, to uh, 1400 top of the hour by clicking the mouse there. You know, I, I think, you know, so if I decide that I like this, you know, this is a, this is a good top of the hour recording, I can press uh, wherever I want to start the recording, say right around here. Then what I do is I press the uh, keyboard C. As soon as I press C, you'll notice at the top, uh, you know, there's a recording banner. So I'm immediately recording uh, as long as uh, it's running. And I can record, uh, you know, rec record this as I want. I can record it as long as I want. Then I press C again, and that ends the recording. Uh, really simple. I just go uh, save as. Oh, or just to save, but in this case, if I press save as, it's going to save it where I have my clips. I press save, and that, now that's in my folder. I'll then just go to Google, my Google Drive, upload it, and uh, I'm good to go to uh, preserve that recording. Really simple to move around, find the best uh, recording, and, uh, and, and make, it, make a clip. Let me show you great functionality in Jaguar for finding parallels. I chose uh, CNR uh, China here, CNR1 on uh, 1215. Uh, you know, they're pretty loud, uh, but really this uh, functionality is especially useful when they're weak. But, uh, you know, given my audio setup here, I thought this would be the best example. So here on 1215, I'll, um, uh, you know, I'll locate where the audio uh, seems best, you know, looking at the uh, peak on the, the Spectre display. And say, for example, I hear some audio here. You know, I get some voice. Now I know that CNR1 has a parallel on 981. So what I can do is I go into the frequency banner here. I put my cursor at the 1215. I key in 981 and press return. So now I'm on the parallel frequency 981 and I can click on the time banner back and forth. And I can listen. I say, well, gosh, that sounds like the same channel. What I then do, notice here below the, the banner, there's a parallel symbol, a little black button. I press that. And I'm instantly now going to be able to flip back and forth. If I roll my mouse wheel, all right, I'm instantly back on 981. If I roll my wheel, 
I'm back on 1215. So I can just roll. Just rolling my mouse wheel, I can flip back and forth between the two frequencies. Now here's something that's really, really uh, convenient. Okay, if I press, I'm pressing the space bar uh, on the keyboard, and I instantly come up with this loop function. Now I can take these little flags and I can move them around however I want. All right, I can make them really close, say for example, like let's just get this little, uh, little chunk here of audio. So I got that little chunk playing, and then I take my mouse wheel and just flip back. So, you know, I just roll the mouse wheel back and forth, and I can, uh, can find that, uh, that parallel. Now, the cool thing here is I can also, uh, this, this, this loop and the parallel will be preserved. I can move, you know, I can click different frequencies. I can click, uh, you know, along the banner. I can click uh, different days, and the, the parallel will be preserved. That is to say, the parallel setup. So I can span days. I can span time uh, looking for this same parallel until I uh, find a good one. Uh, now, if you want to get rid of these flags, uh, you just highlight one so it's red and press escape and then we're uh, out of the uh, loop function. Great setup for uh, looking for parallels. Super, super, super convenient. Okay guys, I think that's enough for now. It's, uh, I don't want the video to get too long. Hey look, when it comes to Jaguar, I uh, have only been using the program here for about three months. I'm really just getting started. The thing with Jaguar is it's a little bit of a learn on your own. Uh, the the uh, Jaguar user group is very helpful if you have any specific questions. but. Uh, even though it's a very strange, uh, well, a bit unusual format, a little bit outside of the normal Windows uh, program type format, it really is a powerful tool and usually you can figure out how to get something done if you dig uh, deep enough. It sure is, uh, sure is a convenient program. You know, I got to be honest, you know, if you're dealing and only using the Perseus software, I mean, by the way, Jaguar works only with the Perseus radio, but if you're just using the original Perseus software to review files. I mean, come on guys, think about it. I mean, you can't really go back and forth outside of one file. Every time you change and move outside of a file, you got to load that file. And I mean, when I, based on what I just showed you, I mean, I can zip back and forth between days, between hours, between frequency, between time. I can do parallels. I mean, extremely powerful. And uh, frankly, I would think, uh, you know, just using the Perseus software standalone is pretty, pretty yesterday and, and pretty archaic compared to the power of Jaguar. 73 guys, this is Steve, uh, the 6 wz I got to figure out what this crazy music is here on uh, 1575. Uh,